Hi, this is Tom Reardon, math teacher from Ohio. We're answering the question, why TI Inspire CX? This is a middle school math activity dealing with pie charts and bar charts. TI Inspire CX, the handheld and the software are now both in color. Why TI Inspire CX? It is a learning tool and a teaching tool. It is no longer just a graphing calculator with a touchpad and now in beautiful color. Students often have a difficult time understanding how to create pie charts and or bar charts. With TI Inspire CX, students can now investigate for themselves. Watch. We will be using the TI SmartView emulator software, but whatever we do here can be done exactly on the student's handheld. We're just going to flip through the pages just to kind of show you what's possible. Uh, these are the new categorical data features. Notice a nice picture of the M&Ms there. We can now bring in pictures or images into our documents. We're going to compare the national and class experimental uh, data of, of M&Ms. Uh, here, notice the use of color to, to show the, the actually the actual colors. Uh, on this page, we made a bar chart indicating that. And on the page after that, you have the option of showing the percentages or not showing the percentages. You can also make a um, pie chart with or without the percentages. And then you can compare them side by side because Inspire does have that capabilities of having up to four different things on one screen here side by side. I think that's pretty great. Here you want, if you want to compare national to class on two separate charts, and notice it's even coded there for you. And then you can also compare class and national averages with a pie chart. So just to summarize here, uh, here's the pages with the, or here are the pages with the pie and bar charts with and without the uh, percentages. The data with the circle or, or pie charts. How you again can split the screen and show both at the same time. And how you can compare more than one set of data uh, at the same time. Comparing with pie charts. So this is the end of the video.